into the weekend, those temperatures will continue to drop just a little bit further. But at the same time, most of the wet weather should be moving away. Jane. All right, Darren, thank you very much. Thank you. And that is it from the News at One for today on BBC One. We will join our newsrooms now, wherever you are. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome to Wales Today. I'm Lucy Owen. The headlines. Experts believe former rugby players diagnosed with brain injuries could receive millions of pounds to pay for care. And progress towards getting more electric vehicles on the road in Wales is described as embarrassing. Good afternoon. Former British Lions and other rugby players with brain injuries could receive hundreds of millions of pounds from the sports governing bodies to help fund their care, according to experts. Former players are taking legal action against the WRU, the RFU and World Rugby for injuries they say were sustained while playing. It comes at a time when the governance of the sport is in the spotlight. Jordan Davis has the story. Look at this, Alex Popham drives for the line, he's there! Rugby stars, household names, now with permanent brain injuries. Cause, they say, at work as professional players. Among them, 46-year-old, former dual code professional Lenny Woodard. I don't think anybody wants a, a legal battle, so to speak, but then nobody wanted to be diagnosed with um, the early onset of dementia and probable, and probable CTE, CTE either. He sits on a committee representing former players and says he doesn't expect his family to pay for his long-term care. Look, my partner's 12 years younger than me, so in 12 years, say 12 years' time, she's going to be 47. In 12 years' time, I could be in a residential care home. Ryan Jones started it all. Last year, former Wales captain Ryan Jones revealed he's been diagnosed with early-onset dementia. Around 200 former male and female players are accusing World Rugby, the Welsh Rugby Union and the Rugby Football Union of failing to protect them against brain injuries. Of course, this comes at a time when rugby governance and finances are under intense scrutiny. But any legal action could be complicated and any conclusion may be years away. Experts, though, believe the amounts of money involved could be substantial. Overhead pass, Jason Lewis, Crispin Cormac. Including Crispin Cormac, who played for pont de in the 90s and toured with Wales. He now specialises in serious injury law, including concussion, and has worked on rugby brain injury cases. He says the professional claim could be worth hundreds of millions of pounds because of the care that may be required. I would say a conservative estimate, personally, and I'm, I don't know everything about the claims, I don't know everything about the natures, and I've not obviously been privy to any of the medical reports. But if we take the worst possible scenario, I'd say the minimum 300 million and could be skyrocketing upwards. Any resolution in this case is not guaranteed. World Rugby, the Welsh Rugby Union and the Rugby Football Union say they constantly strive to safeguard and support all players. Jordan Davis with that report. A mother accused of allowing her boyfriend to murder her two-year-old daughter says he was really good with her children and never harmed them. Lola James from Haverford West died after a catastrophic head injury and 101 surface injuries in July 2020. Her mother, Sinead James, who denies causing or allowing Lola's death, is starting to give evidence at Swansea Crown Court. Her partner, Kyle Bevan, denies murder. An academic says Wales is not immune to far-right politics and politicians should take responsibility for using inflammatory language. The warning follows a protest by an anti-immigration group against plans to house Ukrainian refugees in Llantwit Major in the Vale of Glamorgan. Around 20 supporters of Patriotic Alternative staged the protest on Saturday, with several hundred attending a counter-demonstration. Dr Hugh Williams from Cardiff University says the rise of right-wing rhetoric is influencing people's actions. I think there needs to be an acknowledgement and some responsibility taken here in terms of what's said by politicians, uh, what's said by commentators, because inevitably that's going to colour the way in which the public interpret these issues and these events, and it will inevitably, of course, have an influence on actions that are taken and words that are spoken. 
Well, in response, the Home Office says the welfare of asylum seekers in their care is of the utmost importance and any attempts to fuel resentment towards them are completely unacceptable. A Senedd report has found that the Welsh Government's strategy for getting more electric vehicles on the road is embarrassing. The Climate Change, Environment and Infrastructure Committee looked at plans to develop a network of charging points across Wales and found that fewer than half of the main commitments had been delivered on time. Matt Murray reports. Making the switch from petrol to electric is something many car owners think about. Gwen Llian Owen from Anglesey took delivery of a new all-electric car two weeks ago. It was goodbye to her petrol car because she feels she has an environmental responsibility to do so. But the decision doesn't come without concerns. I think my main worry was where will I get it charged, how much is it going to cost me to charge it, especially now with the cost of electricity and everything so high, I wondered whether it was going to be worth it financially. Um, but it's all... At the moment, it's working out quite well. Probably spending around about £50 a month at the moment to charge it. But I've only had it two weeks, so, you know, it's still early days, but I'm still learning a lot. And it looks like a steep learning curve for the Welsh Government too. A report by the Senate's Climate Change, Environment and Infrastructure Committee found fewer than half of the Welsh Government's main commitments have been delivered on time and some of the others barely started. 18 months down the line uh, and... Over half of those, five of those actions, are yet to be delivered. In fact, they haven't even started the work on beginning to deliver some of those, even though we're at a point where they should have already been done and dusted. So it's really disappointing, uh, it's frustrating, uh, it's unacceptable, and quite frankly, as far as the government's concerned, it's, it's quite embarrassing too. There are 2,400 charging points in Wales, out of 37,000 across the UK. Currently one rapid charger per 15,000 people, compared to one per 11,000 people at UK level. The Welsh Government say the lack of electricity grid capacity is a significant issue, especially in rural areas. If the electric grid uh, is, a, is a constraint, there's no doubt about it, uh, it's uh, often complicated and expensive to put these things in. I just visited a charging plaza in Rill recently that we'd funded, which was very impressive, but it took a lot longer than we expected. It cost a lot more uh, too. So these things aren't simple to do. Uh, and so we need to uh, target our intervention where we can have the most effect and expect the private sector to do its bit and expect the UK government to do its bit too. Lack of charging points has always been the biggest barrier in the uptake of electric cars. And many houses make the charge at home a challenge too. But Gwen Llian believes with planning, even the long journeys across Wales are possible. On to football and the Wales captain Aaron Ramsey says he and his teammates will be disciplined in their Euro 2024 qualifying game against Latvia in Cardiff tonight. It follows their opening one-all draw with Croatia on Saturday. Well, it's a wet old day, isn't it? Let's get the weather forecast now. Sabrina Moore on the way. Hi Lucy, yes exactly right. More wet weather on the way over the next several days. Things will eventually settle down a bit more by the time we get to Sunday and the first part of next week and we do have some milder air on the way too. So this is the pressure sequence then over the next several days. Essentially a series of weather fronts pushing in from the Atlantic bringing something milder but also wetter and windier. So through this morning then we've already seen quite a bit of rain across the country. As we head through this afternoon there will be more bits and pieces of rain around but generally speaking the rain will largely peter out. We'll hold on to quite a lot of cloud too. The chance for a few cloud breaks these probably best in parts of Flintshire, Wrexham and Denbyshire. Today's highs then getting up to around 10 to 14 Celsius. It's quite breezy out there especially for exposed areas with gusts of around 30 to 40 miles an hour locally a little higher. Through this evening and overnight then, under some of that thicker cloud, again the chance for a little bit of patchy light rain and drizzle, but most of us will get away with a largely dry night. Again, some patchy mist and fog developing, and it will be a very mild night given the time of year. Those lows, 8 to 11 Celsius, frost-free 
too. So tomorrow then we'll see more in the way of rain. This is the warm front bringing patchy rain and drizzle, but it's through the afternoon where we get this cold front pushing through, which is a more active system. If you are traveling in this, I think some tricky traveling conditions and surface water and spray on the roads, the potential for some localized flooding and could be a bit intense to allow for some rumbles of thunder and hail too. As you can see, a milder day across the board, those highs 13 to 16 Celsius, mildest in the northeast where there's a bit more shelter. A breezy day once again too, windy for some exposed locations. And then Thursday, back to some sunny spells and scattered showers. But once again, some of those heavy, potentially thundery. That's your forecast, Lucy. Sabrina, thanks so much. Nick Savini will be here with Wales Today at 6.30. But for now, from me, Sabrina, and all of us on the programme, thank you so much for your company and enjoy your afternoon. Bye-bye.